as you know that I will be speaking in English, and uh, I'll try to use a simple word so that you can understand and I can deliver it better. I'm sure the majority of us here have watched the superheroes movies or cartoon when we were little, and uh, we're still enjoying it, watching it uh, even until today. And, um, I'm sure also, uh, 10 years down the road, the same superheroes cartoon and movie will be shown to our um, little brothers and sisters, and, and they are going to enjoy it as well. And I'm sure also, before we were born, or before we are here today, uh, our fathers and our mothers have also watched something like this during their time. And, uh, and this will be always in our society uh, for a long time. Okay, so meaning to say that we are acknowledging the presence of the superheroes in our society, and we value whatever the superheroes characters are. Okay, I'm trying to actually relate it to uh, the decision making that we do uh, in terms of life uh, process. Meaning to say that, how is it the superhero's idea affect our decision making and affect our values in terms of understanding uh, the, 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 the success and the failure of life. Okay? So now we have the uh, motivational speech. I'm sure also the majority of us have heard uh, motivational speaks uh, and also the speakers uh, telling us to uh, do extraordinary things in order to achieve extraordinary result, right? So we have this idea that the successful, uh, the success and the extraordinary result can only be achieved if we do certain extraordinary things, right? Like for example, like we have to work hard, we have to have less sleep, we can't enjoy, we can't have fun, because we have to always work. So this is the, generally the idea that we have uh, when we listen to the motivational speak, uh, speakers, and, uh, and, and this is the idea that, that, that they always tell us. What I'm saying is that uh, in reality, okay, we do have downtime in our life. Meaning to say there are always days that we always feel that lazy to do any, anything. We, we, we just don't want to read books, we just don't want to study, and, 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 and that's okay, because, because why? I will tell you why, uh, uh, and, 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 and that's why, in a way, the, whatever we hear in the motivational speech is, 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 is not applicable to us, because we can't always work hard all the time, right? Okay, so this is a photo of a man trying to conquer the world, sort of, like, this is me, and this is the world, and, and I'm going to go against everybody in the world. Okay? So this is the idea that, that, that is being told to us, that in order for us to achieve success, that we have to work hard. And if you look at these pictures, I feel stressful myself. Like, sort of telling me that, okay, this is I'm alone, and this is everybody, and then it's just like I have to go against everybody in order for me to achieve something in life. Basically, this is what the picture is telling, right? Uh, okay, this is the other side, it's your dream, and this is you, and you have to cross the river to go to the other side, which is sort of like very impossible. But what we are told in, the, in, in, in uh, uh, whatever uh, uh, self-improvement books that we read, okay, but you have to do it. You, if you want to go to the other side, you have to really jump and swim and go to the other side. You just have to do it. So this is what we usually found in the self-improvement book, that we have to improve ourselves. But what I'm saying is that it's not, it's not like we cannot work hard. It's not like that. It's not like we cannot have extraordinary goals. But if we achieve extraordinary result, that's okay, because we, we are just human, okay? Let me tell you why. Okay, so in school you learn statistics, right? And this is bell curve. I'm sure most of you are very uh, familiar with this. This is called bell curve. What is showing in this graph is that 68% of us 
Meaning to say the majority of us are just average. Okay? What the media is showing you, or what the popular people are here, the high performance, 16%. If I mention few popular people, you definitely know, and, but, but most of the time they are here. Okay, if I mention to you the founder of Facebook, for example, you know, you know him, right? Uh, uh, the, the big, the big uh, tech startup founders, if I mention their name, you know. But the thing is, they are here. They are high performer people. But most of us, including myself, is just the average performers. Okay, average performers just do the average thing. Okay, we don't do the high performance thing, and then that's okay. We have to accept it. Okay, if you are, if you just average performers, you have to accept the fact that you are just average. That's number one. That's number one. The key number one that you have to adopt. Okay, before you think of doing anything with your life. Okay, what I'm saying is that. 68% of us are just average, and that's okay, okay? What the media is showing us is 16%. And uh, you see the, um, the f uh, you know, such as Messi, for example, yeah, he plays very good football because he's high performer, and, uh, and then we have to acknowledge it. You, can you play football like Messi? Anybody can be as good as Messi here? No, you know Messi, right? Oh, yeah. But okay, but it's okay. Are you going to be hate yourself because you can't be messy? No, I don't hate myself because I don't. Uh, I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. No, I don't hate myself. I accept myself that I'm just average performers. So that's why what I'm telling you today is that we need to adopt a strategy. How can we achieve messy's result? But but no need to be a messy. How can average performers? achieve high performance result by just doing average people uh, routine. How do we do that? Because, okay, now we understand that we're just average performers. Okay, we accept that. But definitely some of you here are very, uh, very good people. I mean, high performance people. I'm sure they exist in the room somewhere. But most of us are average. Okay, you get the idea. I, I keep repeating on this, but you get the idea, all right? Okay, this is the perfect example of average people adopting strategy to win or to, re to get the high performance result. In uh, Olympic Rio 2016, there is one shocking moment whereby the Japanese team won the silver medal during 4x4 four four rally. This team, the Japanese people, they beat uh, the usual uh, 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 well-known teams such as uh, America team, Brazilian, and um, uh, 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 I think Brazilian won number one, but the second place is uh, Japanese. But the Japanese beat more uh, countries such as uh, Europe countries, uh, Britain, uh, USA, and those countries that always win the medal, okay? This is a very shocking uh, moment during Olympic Rio 2016 because nobody thought that these people actually won the medal. Okay, by definition, the result that they achieve is very high-performing result, right? But they are just average people. How do they do that? Uh, you know, Asian people, I mean, we are, I don't know, I think I mentioned, uh, we don't win a lot of medals, but Japanese prove it, that they, they can achieve something by adopting a simple strategy, which is, they work in a team, okay? For us to achieve Extraordinary result, we have to adopt strategy within ourselves, within the average performance people, and work together, learn the skill, and then we will get the extraordinary result like the Japanese do. So what they did is, in the 4x4 rally, they, start, they study how to pass the baton faster than the rest. They study everything, they study every little thing. How can they work in a team better? Okay, how can, how can I not think just about myself, but rather I put the values, I put the work on understanding how to work in a team better? Okay, this is the strategy that you have to think. Let me uh, bring you to the simple uh, analogy of life here. Oops, all right. So, imagine that you are there, and the success is on the other side. It's always the case like that. You are not 
not all of us are born uh, getting the success straight away. Because, because uh, the success is on the other side of the, of the resistance. The success is here and you are there. In order for you to get here, what do you do? What do you need to do? You need to break the resistance, right? You need to break it in order to achieve uh, the success which is on the other side. Okay, so just now I said that if you have this mentality that, that, that I, will, I will do it, I can do it alone, I work hard, I will work hard, and then, and, and then I will just, you know, try all the time to break this resistance. And one day I will get the success. I will achieve the success. I will get the result that I want. So you, you continuously think on how can I do it and, and uh, what should I read and, and, and how hard I should work, how much time I have to spend in a day uh, in order for me to achieve my dream and my goals. This is the, 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 the old way of thinking for you. Okay, but today I'm going to tell you that it's not just the only way and it's probably not feasible way for most of us. Why? Just like I said, because we are just average. You, know? you see, if, for example, if I think like this, I want to train 16 hours playing football because I want to be messy. Do you think that is possible? I don't think so because we are just average. I'm just not messy, okay? So you have to think like that. Of course, there are resistance. Of course, there are uh, 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 things that I have to go through before I achieve certain thing. But the point here is that it's not just the way. Okay, there are other ways that is more feasible, which is this. Look simple. You probably know about it, but like I said, it's it's very uh, no not many people talk about it in depth. Okay, this is three people working together, learning the skill how to work better in a team. And do you think that these three people will break the resistance easier than the just one people? Of course, right? Because three people, uh, one person may have advantage in certain area and he has weakness in certain area. The other one has advantage in other certain area and disadvantage in other certain areas. So when three people or a team comes together, it's very feasible for them to break the resistance, the life resistance, and achieve success. Okay? Because the success, uh, the way I define the winning strategies for the average performers is you still have to work hard. There's no doubt about it. Everybody here, if you want to achieve success, you must work hard. No doubt, no question. You must sleep less. No doubt, no question. People who sleep uh, more 10 hours per day and people who only sleep 3-4 hours a day because they want to understand a certain concept or theory, definitely that person uh, will be on advantage, will be advanced. Okay, so no doubt that you have to work hard. No doubt also you have to work smart. And then you, have, you always learn this in school that people told you to work smart. Because why? Because uh, sm working smart will save you a lot of time. It will save you energy. It will save you time. It will also tell you how to manage stress, for example. So these things require intelligence. So working smart is also in the equation here. Okay? But for you to achieve your goal and dreams, you have to have this too, but you have to work in a team. Again, because most of us are just average, we have weaknesses and we have advantage. So it, by working in a team, you sort of combine everything at one place and, and, and therefore you use, you always think, in, have always this idea that we go as a team because, because the success that you have to, the journey that you have to endure is long journey. So by working in a team, it's much easier and feasible to achieve the success. So this is the winning strategy that you have to adopt. This is also a, a quote that you always hear. That success is a marathon, not a sprint. So what does it mean actually? How, what, what is the difference between marathon and sprint? The marathon means that you have to endure a long journey. It's 40 kilometers. It's, why the sprint is just 100 meters? It's very short. Okay, I, ha I, can, I think I can run 100 meters and work hard on myself to just go finish 100 meters. 
But if I know that I will just, I have to go 40 kilometers, it's smarter if I think like this. I, I think that if I work with A guy, B guy, C guy, D guy, and team, I would probably just have to finish one kilometer, and the other guy have to finish one kilometer, and I have 40 guys in my team, we will finish 40 kilometers faster than a person who just work alone, right? So, this is also a fact. Success is like that. Okay, the journey for you to achieve success is a marathon, not a sprint. So, if there is one thing you learn from me today, is this. First of all, know yourself, accept the reality. If you think that, okay, I can solve math question without using calculator, so you are smart, you know that, then that's okay. If you want to go alone, go ahead, okay? But if you want to, uh, if you want to uh, solve the calculus uh, uh, problems, but you need calculator, you need pen, you need books, you need reference, then that probably means that you are average, yes? Okay, so that number one is you have to accept the fact that you are average, then you start to form a lie. You start to find your, your friends who can help you in certain things and, 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 and make up an ally. You know, you have to talk to people and, okay, I have a problem in this. I think you are more suitable in this. Form the ally, form the team, and don't go alone. Because why? Because we are not superheroes. Superman, yes, he can go alone because he's superheroes. You know, he's probably like God, you know, to most of us, because he's superhero and we are not. Thank you very much.